Hello everyone, it's Elder here. Today I wanted to review the Zero Tolerance 0301 Ranger Green Folder Knife. Uh, this is made, uh, once again, by the company Zero Tolerance, uh, designed by uh, Ken Onion. It's uh, made in the USA, and it's a real deal uh, combat folder. Uh, just to give you a few of the uh, specs on this folder, and uh, once again, I'll get into much more detail uh, in the blog post as far as specs, and uh, you could pretty much get those uh, anywhere, so I don't want to harp on them too much. But uh, you have your uh, uh, titanium thumb stud here, all right, for assisted opening. Uh, all right, so you have your uh, frame lock here, which is this is how we would open it and close it. All right, so very good, very sturdy. Once this blade is locked out, it's locked out. Uh, once again, you can close it with one hand, but uh, I don't like using blades as guillotines, and especially when I'm looking through a camera lens. So uh, always be safe, always be smart. All right, you don't want to take yourself out of the fight before it even begins. Okay, this blade is uh, ambidextrous, so whether you're left-handed or right-handed, it's, uh, you can configure it, right? Uh, four different positions that you could put it in by just uh, moving this clip. Um, so on either side, depending right-handed, left-handed. And you could also configure it so that you could carry it, either tip down or tip up, depending on your preference and, of course, your training. All right, just a note on training. I know I harp on that a lot, but, uh, you know, it's a big part of my life. And uh, I don't like people seeing uh, going out and spending big money thumb stud? on uh, everyday carries or just even uh, self-defense weapons in general, but never training with them. All right, and then that you basically become a liability. So you guys see what's going on in the world. All right, it's not a joke. People are out there training, and if you're not, you're falling behind. And behind if you carry back. a tool like this that you're not experienced with, uh, the person that has the experience might take this away from you. All right, and, and cause harm. So uh, it might sound funny, might sound like a joke, but. Uh, I'm serious here, and uh, just a little disclaimer, keep that in mind, all right? Personal practice, train all the time, make this an extension of your body. Okay, the blade itself is made of uh, S30V stainless steel uh, with tungsten DLC coating, and of course, the uh, blade itself has the uh, cool tiger striping on it, all right? So it's, it's definitely, <laughs> you know, a serious combat folder, like I stated. Uh, it's a beautiful uh, piece of art. All right, and you want to talk about durability, it's no joke, all right? So if we are going over self-defense application, I mean, just taking out this out of your pocket and let's say using it in a reverse grip type situation, all right, to cause less lethal damage, all right? Um, you have something here. I mean, guys in the field uh, that are out in the field in the Middle East and so on uh, that I've spoken to have used these for, for hammers, all right? When you're out there, they're not as worried about bringing home and keeping their... Uh, their uh, knife uh, beautiful and clean like I am, you know, they're worried about practical application and surviving and doing whatever it needs to make their life a little bit more comfortable. All right, so they've really put this thing through its paces and used it as everything, <laughs> including a hammer. So, uh, you know, when I hear from guys like that in a field that I do trust and have credibility with me, um, it's definitely something that I take to heart. So the handle itself is uh, 3D machined, uh, G10 and titanium. All right, so it's real deal, it's really gonna last you. And uh, the way that it is machined and tooled here, I mean, even with gloves on, and I'll show you a little bit later, um, you still have very, very good control over this. All right, even though you're losing some, some, some uh, sensitivity and some proprioception, it's still uh, very easily, uh, very easily deployed. Uh, keep in mind that you want to train with that, that right? Lever. If uh, your uh, application requires you to wear a glove that are gloves, then, uh, you know, make sure that you train with the gloves, all right? Don't become an expert with it barehanded, and then you put a glove on and, you know, you can't feel anything. And uh, once again, it becomes useless in your hand or, you know, once again, a tool that somebody can use against you. So we have the uh, thumb stud that we could use to open. Okay. And once again, this weighs about half a pound. So you've got some consistency here, a little bit of a wrist flick or anything like that. And it's going to open a lot faster because of the girth or the size. All right. There's also the lever on the back here for the speed safe that opens up quick also. And uh, once again, just adding a little bit of a wrist flick. I guess I'm just used to that from uh, opening and closing it thousands of times. Um, you know, once again, it's gonna deploy that much faster. So once again, just application with the glove. All right, and once again, this feels good because of the blade and the way that it's machined here. I'm sorry, the handle and the way that it's machined here. And once again, you have access to the thumb stud. Okay, and then once again, to the lever here on the back. All right, and you could tell it just feels very good in the hand. Well, you can't tell, but I could tell. <laughs> Feels very good in the hand, uh, even with the glove on. All right, so something you really want to keep in mind, um, especially if you are using it for uh, an application where you might use it at work uh, as a first responder. Yes, I'll bring you guys for a walk in a minute. Relax, okay? 
relax. Another cool feature that I forgot to mention is the lever in the back uh, that's also used for uh, assisted opening. Uh, once it is deployed and open, it becomes uh, pretty much a guide or a stop here uh, for your finger, which is nice because any kind of thrusting motion, um, you know, it stops your finger from going forward and slicing your fingers off. All right, so keep that in mind um, when your hands are wet, muddy, uh, bloody, or even your gloves on, all right, and you have less sensitivity. So that guide right there definitely helps out a lot. So as we finish up this review, uh, once again, if this is something that's in your budget, uh, if this is something that multiple use-wise is uh, good to go for you, uh, whether it's a uh, everyday carry or in the field uh, the only bit of a uh, or nugget of knowledge that I want to leave you with is make sure that you train with it I know I harped on on it a lot uh, during this review and uh, sorry about that because it's supposed to be a review not a tutorial and it certainly wasn't a tutorial but I do want to be able to uh, be responsible and uh, send the mass message out there um, there's a lot of things that we see in uh, my line of work and if I could help uh, give a little bit of that knowledge to prevent it from happening I'm gonna do it at every chance that I get. All right, so uh, if you do pick this up, I really don't think you'll be disappointed. It's really up there with the, uh, the high-end folders and top-of-the-line folders. All right, so if you think that uh, this is for you, go ahead and give it a try. Hope you enjoyed this review.